what is up guys Ryan here coming at you with another Adobe Photoshop tutorial and uh, before I start today's video I want to encourage you guys to leave a like and if you have any tutorial suggestions be sure to leave a comment down below of any ideas you may have and uh, if you're not already subscribed to my channel be sure to click that subscribe button because I'm not too far off from 3k um, but anyways guys uh, today's tutorial I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to create not really a 3d text but more of like a bold kind of like a hard drop shadow text with some nice reflections on it um, but the style we're kind of going for is kind of like the one in Gibby's most recent speed art um, there'll be a video link on screen for you guys to go check out the video and there'll also be a link in the description to go check out his channel um, but the text he uses in the banner is essentially what we're going to be going over today so uh, let's jump into Photoshop and get to work now in creating a text like this there's multiple ways about going and creating it um, I'm going to be teaching you guys the simplest way I know how at least in my opinion um, but essentially all this is is just one or two text layers one above it and one below it just moved down a little bit and a couple shades lighter and uh, Just an easy nice reflection on top um, So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna turn off these layers here I'll also have the PDS uh, to download in the description for you guys to follow along with this if you do need it uh, So we're just gonna grab our tutorial. I mean not our tutorial our text tool and uh, we're gonna call this tutorial Sorry, I am typing with one hand here tutorial uh, the font I'm using is uh, Nexia Bold. There'll be also another link in the description for you guys to go download that. It's a free font. Um, so the first thing that we want to do here is we want to go and uh, grab our gradient in our layer style. And we're going to make kind of a, a dark or a light bright, uh, kind of like a fluorescent orange in a way. So for our end, like for the bottom part, we're going to make it a little bit darker than our top part. So we're just going to pick a nice orange color like so it's looking pretty good maybe make this a tiny bit darker like that that looks eh, a little too dark there uh, it's looking pretty good hit OK hit OK um, the next thing we want to do is we're just going to duplicate this so we'll duplicate our top layer we're going to call this um, tutorial one just so we can keep track of it so when it comes to uh, Organizing things, it'll be easier to recognize. Tutorial one and tutorial two. Uh, for tutorial two, what we want to do is we're gonna hold down our arrow key for about five or six times, like right about there. And what we want to do is we're gonna turn off our gradient here, and we're gonna add a color overlay. Select the color we have here, and we're just gonna make it uh, darker than the one above it. So right about there, um, looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit more orange that ah, looks pretty good and as you can see here most of it lines up perfectly but except for here with our R and our A now to fix this it's very simple all we have to do is we're gonna rasterize both our layers first so rasterize the type and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here and grab our rectangular marquee tool and the first thing we're gonna work with is our R so to fix it we're just gonna go here to the corner of our text and drag here to our other corner of our text. We're going to right click on it and go to fill and make sure our content is on content aware. Hit OK. Whoops, I'm actually on the wrong one. Right click on it. We want to make sure that we're on tutorial 2, the bottom one. Fill and hit content aware. Uh, hit control T or control um, my mistake actually that's not too far and that's not far enough let me just move this over a little bit there you go right click fill content aware and uh, oops make sure we're on our second one not our top layer fill content aware hit uh, control D to deselect and uh, let's zoom out see how that looks uh, that looks pretty good now we're gonna do the same exact thing to our a so again make sure our bottom layer selected go to our marquee tool go to the edge of our text and drag out right about there right click hit fill make sure content aware select it and hit OK hit con uh, control D and uh, there you go so do the same thing on this side as well uh, right about there right click fill content aware OK and a uh, little messed up there let's restart that or move it over a little bit there you go fill OK control D and uh, looks pretty good uh, that's what we're wanting to achieve so you can also use the lasso tool so if you have kind of like a rough area and you just want to select it you can also use that too 
Um, that's usually useful when you have more of like inside the A here. If there was like a piece missing, it's easier just to use the lasso tool. Um, so the next thing that we want to do is we're going to add a um, some bevel emboss to our top text. So we're going to go and click on tutorial one. Go over here to bevel and emboss. Check that off. We're going to change the depth to two. Make sure that um, our technique is on, or yeah, technique is on chiseled hard. I mean chiseled, uh, chiseled soft. I mean, and uh, bring the size down to zero. And make sure that your angle is 150. I'm pretty sure it's standard. It starts off at 90 degrees, so make sure it's at 150 and zero. Make sure global light is um, uh, checked off. I mean unchecked, my mistake. And uh, what we want to do is we're actually going to turn off our shadow mode or put it down to about 10. And make sure the shadow mode is normal. And actually, we're going to bring that down to 5. Oops, my mistake. Didn't mean to hit enter there. Uh, go back here. And make sure that our highlight mode for our uh, for that is changed to normal, and uh, put this up to 80%. And as you can see, oops, my mistake, zero. This has to be changed back. I don't know why I changed that. Um, as you can see, it adds kind of like a uh, highlight effect from like um, kind of like an afternoon sun. So it shines up from over here and it shines down. So it gives that that nice kind of uh, light angle. So it's pretty cool. Uh, my mistake was actually I forgot to mess with that. There you go. That's what we're looking for. And so as you can see, if we zoom in, it has that nice like highlight effect on the left side of our text and not the right side. So it looks really cool, and uh, it's really nice. Um, so the last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a new layer, and we're gonna start adding our reflection. Now to do this, you can either use the uh, the um, eclipse marquee tool or the normal rectangle marquee tool. Today we're just gonna use the uh, rectangle marquee tool. And we're going to drag out and cut our text kind of in half like that. And what we want to do is we're just going to go grab our brush tool. Make sure that our color is selected at um, pure white. Um, now my settings for my brush are at hardness 30 and uh, my size is about 70 pixels. And my opacity is at 90. What we're going to do is we're just going to drag across from left to right. So we'll hold shift and right about there and we'll just drag across like that. Once we do that, we'll just hit Control D to deselect, and then what we want to do is we want to hit Control again on our top layer and click on the thumbnail for Tutorial One, which will select our text there. And what we want to do is we're going to right-click on it and go and hit Select Inverse. We'll hit Delete, and as you can see, it deletes everything outside of the text that's not inside of it. Hit Control D again to deselect, and all we're going to do is change the opacity to 60, uh, maybe. 40%, 45%, that looks pretty good. So 45% uh, looks pretty good. Now, that's pretty much the end of this tutorial, guys. Um, you know, uh, if you enjoyed it, like I said in the beginning of the video, click that uh, subscribe button, and uh, let's try to get this video to 40 likes. I am almost, I am almost to 3,000 subscribers, so if you could spread the word, that'd be great. Uh, if you're not following me on Twitter, go follow me at SymmetryHD, and uh, have a nice day, guys.